hi everybody it's angelique also known as the light welcome to my channel please stop what you're doing and click like on this video subscribe stay around if you like gnosticism spiritual experiences zodiacs um chosen one videos this is a channel for you my voice may be a little bit raspy because i had a drink tonight um went to it's labor day weekend so i went to the movies they had three dollar movies i ended up paying a dollar for it because i had points in my account that was pretty cool to see a movie for a dollar i have never seen a movie for a dollar it's amazing how covid has changed so much right but no it was cinema it was like national cinema day so the movies were three dollars the movie theater was packed it was crazy um, but I was able to get to see the movie for a dollar and I went out to a restaurant, had a drink by myself. I didn't own this by myself. I was not waiting for friends. So I had not been out like on a date alone and I was pretty cool and I suggest you do it too. Um, but yes, so that's why my voice might sound a little raspy, but I said I have to do this video because the next couple of days I am totally busy, booked and I said I have to get this video out. So I'm not gonna say her name, but someone paid for this video. She gave me a beautiful birthday gift, a financial blessing, and this video is for her. She requested this, she paid for it. There's still a lot of people who do support me financially on this channel, and I'm so thankful for that. Um, I had four outlets in my room blow out, so I'm on the other side of my room, and I have like a lamp near me, so this is the reason why the, the video may look a little rusty pretty much with the lighting it's because i don't have good lighting in my room at night time so bear with me with this um but i'm doing well i have been on tiktok building up my platform i think i'm at 14k now amazing i'm really serious about this healing business um so please get your donations in if you want to see longer videos on this channel um, follow me on TikTok, Metaphysical Goddess, the number seven. Um, what else? Yes, if you need a phone session booking, I'm still doing phone session bookings. And that is, um, just go to my description bar or in the comment section in how to book with me. You need help starting your spiritual experience. You need guidance. You need um, to invent anything, anything you're going through in life spiritual experiences narcissism a lot of you um were on my channel when i only did narcissistic videos i still help people who suffer with narcissistic abuse so don't think that i i just stopped doing narcissistic videos but i still have clients who suffer with narcissistic abuse and i still talk to them and give them advice and help them out and stuff like that guys i didn't leave you hanging i just don't pump out narcissistic videos like i used to because it's time to focus on you being the black sheep or the chosen one and instead of focusing on the predator i'm focusing on the victim or the survivor pretty much um yes but it's mercury retrograde coming up so be very careful with that with a lot of people from your past coming back it's so funny a friend of mine who i grew up with um, I used to be crazy about this guy. First of all, he's not available, okay? I used to be crazy about him, but I actually saw him today. He came to, he stopped by my house to see me with his brother. And um, it was really good to see him, but it was just so funny how um, usually people like who you liked when you were a kid, they didn't like you, but then like now that you're older, they are attracted to you. It's very weird, but he's not available, so. But it was so funny how it's Mercury retrograde shadow period. And he's like in town and like was like, no, I have to see you. So I thought that was really funny. So be very careful with people from your past coming back and testing you to see are you really ready for what you say that you're ready for or you're still going to settle for um, your old habits. So be careful during Mercury retrograde. Enough of my intro. So this video is going to be about, um, and don't complain about intros, okay? Everyone on YouTube has intros. Most people do, okay? Um, but yes, please get those donations in and those phone session bookings and all that information on how to do so with that 
will be in my description bar and in the comment section if you don't see it comment at me and I will send you the links okay so someone paid for this video and it's really about being the chosen one and transitioning out of your nine to five job and she wanted to know like how to get over fear and the truth is you're gonna hate this girl you're gonna hate this you gotta do it scared okay so it's not that you're getting over the fear while you're transitioning from a nine to five working for someone else into quitting your job or you know going to a different job it pretty much some of you want to quit your job and move on to a different career or move on to a different company or start your own business you have to do it scared okay and we're only scared because you're scared of the unknown that's what you're scared of you're scared you're scared of the unknown and that is perfectly fine because you don't know you get anxiety you get depression you get anxious you know because you don't know what's on the other side of the wall but it's so funny because the people that we admire like celebrities or actors you know musicians or whatever the case is these are people who took a chance you know and I think a lot of times people you don't want to take a risk you don't want to suffer. Sometimes you're going to have to suffer. And I think sometimes the suffering and the risk taking of transitioning into an entrepreneur, you need it. Because imagine if you just got it like completely, you just got exactly what you want overnight. A lot of you will not appreciate it. So I think sometimes the ones who suffer the most is because that's your language. You, that's where you know you know suffering you know long suffering you understand it it's your language but I feel that when it comes to transitioning into starting your business when you do suffer when you you know some people sleep in their car I don't want that for you girl but some people sleep in their car some people sleep in a park bench some people go hungry. Some people sleep in motels. They go through so much in order to quit their job and be an entrepreneur and take risk. I love like Steve Harvey's story. Um, this guy I knew, believe it or not, RIP to him. Me and him had beef, but I still remember the stories that he used to tell me. And, um, you know, I'm from Queens, New York and is a park in my neighborhood that I'm very familiar with. And he told me I didn't have anywhere to go. I was homeless. And I remember I slept on that park. And I went to school. The school that he was talking about, the park that he's talking about is the park that's a part of a school that I actually grew up going to. So he was like, um, let's just call it one, let's call it 125. He's like, yeah, I slept on 125 park bench. And I remember the stars were out that night. And I looked up and I said, this, this is my last time ever sleeping on a park bench. He had nowhere to go. And that man made it to a federal agent working for the government. You know, he ended up being an MTA worker, took that money. He moved out of town, moved down south. He became a correction officer. Then he became a sergeant. Then he, became a, then he became a government agent. He kept working his way up. He slept in male shelters. You know, he did, even though he was working for other people, but some people have to go through these things. And he never looked back. Go to house, had cars, had plenty of money. You know, unfortunately, he ended up getting cancer and passing away. But he really bust his ass and he worked his way up. That might not be your story, but you have to do it scared. Sometimes you have to do it without having, having the lack, take the risk. There's something that people cannot take away from the chosen ones or from entrepreneurs is that it's yours. Once you build it up, 
it's yours okay and it's nothing like being your own boss and I'm someone who people made fun of me my whole life I've worked for myself more so say when that SSI check comes <laughs> When that social security check comes later on in life, it's going to look like trash because I've worked more years for myself than I've had working for other companies. And I'm going to tell you, it is like working for yourself, quitting, not having to answer to someone. It's one of the most rewarding beautiful experiences and I don't think it's for everyone so I don't want you all chosen ones out there you know or spiritual ones um you know intuitive ones out there to quit your job because I don't think everyone's meant to be a leader it's hard work and sacrifice to be an entrepreneur I wouldn't trade it for the world right now I am broke when I tell you I am broke. I'm broke. I am. I gotta admit it to you. I am. Um, but I can't work for someone else. I just can't. I can't do it. Um, I feel out of place. I feel like I'm being belittled. I've never like I actually no, let me not say that. In my I'm thirty nine, right? My whole entire life I could probably count on one hand how many good bosses I've had. I've always had issues, not because I can't take authority, you know, I can't listen to authority, but when you have this aura of being a leader, people are instantly going to be intimidated by you. They see the greatness. Even my own mom used to be like, she'll just come up to my job for me, you know, come up to my job to see me in the past growing up. She'd be like, "Mm mm-mm. You don't belong here. And I'm like, you tell me to get a job, I get a job. And every job I get, you tell me this is not enough. You know why? Because she saw that I was meant to be an entrepreneur. A lot of chosen ones are meant to be entrepreneurs. So yes, it is going to be rocky in the beginning. So hey, some people, depending on what kind of job they create for themselves, some people just blow up overnight. I see people YouTube blow up over overnight where I was on here for six years and still haven't blown, blown up, you know? But then I get on TikTok and I have 14K in freaking four months. What? What? And then there's people who've been on TikTok for over a year and don't even have 5,000 followers, you know? So whatever is meant for you is, is going to flourish, when you water that business, when you take that risk and you work for yourself and you become your own boss, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. But also, if you have employees, expect things to happen, okay? There's people who have to put up, you know, take a second second mortgage out on their house. They have to move. They got to live in hotels. They have to downgrade their car, downgrade their house, downgrade their lifestyle that they're used to. But when your business blows up, it's going to be worth it. So the key is not, how can I avoid being scared? No, you have to have faith in God. You have to have faith in, in yourself. You have to have faith in God. You have to have faith in yourself in order to do this. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you don't believe in yourself, and you also have to be careful with who you're going to share this information with. So many times I've told friends and family business ideas, and they're just like, everyone's doing that. I remember when I had my t-shirt company, I still do have my t-shirt on teespring.com. My my shop is called Liquid Love. Check me out. Go to teespring.com, Liquid Love. Um, in 2020, I launched an apparel line called Liquid Love on teespring.com. But before I did it, I remember it was a guy that was messing with 
and I was just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make an apparel line. He was like, everybody makes shirts. Everyone makes apparel. That's something new. There's billions of people in this world that buy t-shirts and mugs and headbands and baseball caps and all kind of stuff. There's always going to be somebody who's going to be feeling uh, what you're putting out there. You're going to have an audience. You're always going to have an audience of someone who's going to love you, who's going to support you. Another thing when you're transitioning into entrepreneurship, your friends and family will not be your biggest customers. For most of us, our friends and family will not support us. They don't get it. They're like, oh, go work for the government, go work for the city, just get a regular job, okay? You're gonna hear that a lot. You're gonna hear people who because you're not scared to do it or you're taking the risk to do something that they would never do they're gonna crap on you they're gonna hate on you they're not gonna support you um because they don't want to see you make it you have to believe in yourself you have to believe that you are gonna make it regardless if you're gonna get that support from your family and your friends so that's something i had to learn the hard way I used to get so butthurt when I was, you know, creating these businesses and I wasn't getting the support from people who were supposed to be my blood or my friends. Um, also, that shows you, like, cut them off, you know? Like, because it doesn't even hurt, especially when you have good quality um, product or services or whatever you're transitioning to. Why not support me? You can share it. It's free to share my business contact with someone. It's free to share it on social media. So they may not have to buy your item or, you know, pay you for your services. But if your friends love you, they should be honest and tell you, look, I don't like this or I do like this and support you and, you know, promote your business. So be be careful with that. Watch who's supporting you and who's not supporting you when you start your business. But you have to do it scared. Um, we all do. We have to do things scared because we're not, we will never get it done. We'll never be great. Um, I took a risk at not working in a hair salon and started working for myself. And I've made more money on my own than I've ever done working in a salon. Okay. People told me don't make a t-shirt business. And I remember like the first two days of me launching my uh, shop I made a thousand dollars you know don't listen to people you have to do what's in your heart now don't go out there quitting your job now depending on what kind of job you have see if you can have severance a severance pay I think that's what it's called um, have savings um, see if you can pay off your rent for the next six months or your mortgage um, you know, for a couple of months or whatever the case is, your taxes, whatever you need to do, see if you can pay that off. See if you can have another hustle that's going to support investing in your business. Research, research, research. When I wrote my poetry book in 2016, I did not have any idea how to write a book. No one taught me nothing. There was other poets that I used to perform with and I asked them and it was just like, this is the company I use and roll their eyes and walk away from me. Nobody wanted to help me. So I got on YouTube and I started watching videos of other people who self published their, their book. And in 2016 through, um, Amazon's company, I self published my poetry book. Okay. You have to be willing to do the research, study all the laws, whatever, whatever kind of business you want, study, study, research research go on google go go get books from the library go talk to people who have the same business as you and see if they will talk to you will help you because not everyone's funny not everybody's flaky but i'm noticing that a lot of people are lazy when it comes to transitioning or quitting their job and starting their own business people are lazy you cannot be lazy you're fighting for your freaking life okay you're fighting for freedom when you work for yourself you're you're 
you are free okay you're free I haven't worked a nine-to-five since 2019 and I'm free if I want to sleep till 12 o'clock I can if I want to go take a vacation I can I don't have to have PTO I don't have to tell a boss oh hey I'm leaving this particular day okay um it's a beautiful feeling to have that freedom you're fighting to have freedom and I will tell you this even though I don't have the money yet because I'm still building up my business oh my gosh the freedom that you have by being your own boss it doesn't compare to anything else it does not it doesn't compare to anything else I would rather be broke and be my own boss than be working for somebody making a whole bunch of money miserable hating going into work every day hate my boss hate my co-workers hate my job to me that's a miserable life to live okay um everything needs to be planned but you gotta do it scared you have to do it scared um when i used to be a hairstylist and I was like, nope, I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna start going to people's house and doing hair. And people was just like, just work in a salon, just work in a salon. What? There's people who travel and, and do celebrities' hair and they make thousands of dollars. And I was pocketing my own money where when I was working in someone's salon, I had to give them half my money or pay like rent. What if I don't have clients like that that month? Then I, I'm out of it, I, don't, I couldn't pay them. So working for myself and going to people's houses and pocketing all the money, you know, like say if I did a hairstyle for like $150, I don't have to give her $75 of my money, you know, to the owner I'll, while I stood there and did all that work, you know what I'm saying? So be smart, study the market and where you're trying to go into. YouTube is your best friend. Google is your best friend. The library is your best friend. Other people who are in your field is your best friend but there's no getting around um not being scared you're gonna be scared that's a human natural thing that you're going to be afraid to start your business okay but i'm telling you it's such a blissful feeling and it sucks that i may have to go back out into the nine to five world just to make extra money because sometimes you have to work your nine to five to support your dream so yes a lot of your jobs are not going to make you millionaires. So you're going to have to take that money that you worked for in your 9 to 5 and flip it and invest it in your business. Every single day, even no matter how tired you are, dedicate two hours, at least two hours to building your business. Whether it's you're actually building it or you're reading something or researching or creating or investing some type of mental um, energy into building your business do not wait until the weekend work on your craft okay work on your talents or whatever it is that you're trying to do you're trying to transition into but no there is no getting around the fear you're gonna be scared okay especially if you're if you've never or you're not a person who's an entrepreneur type of boss type it's gonna be scary as hell to you because natural born hustlers and bosses we like can make money in our sleep <laughs> we know what to say we know how to finesse we know how to talk to people <clears throat> in order to get them to be our customer you know um that's part of marketing baby but no you're not going to be scared but it's worth the risk that's what one thing i will say to you it will be worth the risk and I do believe that chosen ones work better on their own. And I really want to push chosen ones to be entrepreneurs. Because more people, more problems when it comes to chosen ones. When it comes to spiritual ones, more people, more problems. Yes, you're going to have issues in your business. Every business has issues. But I feel like the less people that you have to be surrounded by, you know, and come in contact with, I feel the less drama chosen ones have. So I hope some of this information helped you and 
you're gonna have to do it scared you're not gonna get over your fear but i think when you start seeing your business is flourishing when you start seeing people are supporting you your confidence builds up okay you know i was so insecure when i started the healing business and i was like oh i'm not married i don't have kids i don't think i could be a life coach and now people are like triple booking with me quadruple booking with me um trusting me you know and not looking at me as a failure or because i'm not married or don't have kids you know so don't put self-doubt use mantras um write on sticky notes and put it all over envision your future that's part of it too manifesting and envisioning your future is bomb.com right on here i am so grateful to be a millionaire i am so grateful my business is doing amazing sales i am so thankful i have a mansion i'm so thankful for financial freedom like write these things wake up in the morning and say these things also in the mirror you know i have horrible um mindset when it comes to money so i'm working on that so no i'm not a perfect example of somebody who's an entrepreneur and has tons of money but through the years i've made pretty good money but i still have a poverty mindset and that's why i'm working on altering my um mindset so alter your mindset and believe in yourself okay so i hope this information helped you out and helps you guys out um who are thinking about transitioning from nine to five life to entrepreneurship you can do it you can do it it's not going to be easy but you can do it so i'll talk to you soon don't forget to get those donations in guys thank you to people who do donate from time to time i really appreciate you and don't forget to get those phone booking sessions and all the information is always in my description bar and in my comment section have an amazing labor day weekend and i'll talk to you soon peace and blessings